So what's the future of electric cars? Well, for a start, there are two kinds. There are ones where you've got a fuel being put into the car, which then drives an electrical reaction, generates electricity, and drives the engine. The other is a traditional battery-driven car. And the, the, the second kind has been held back for a long time by the fact that the batteries have been extremely heavy and there's been very little real innovation in battery technology over the last 20 years. We've been talking about acid batteries which are very bulky and are a pain to drive around in the back of your car. Now that's changing with, the, with, the, with this new generation of uh, nickel cadmium batteries and other things which will improve the amount of miles that an electric car can be driven, its power and, uh, and uh, how long it can go without charging, the charging speed and so on. But electric cars are still uh, burdened with another major challenge, which is this. It's all very well to drive your car on electricity in order to save the world from pollution by carbon dioxide and global warming gases. But where does the electricity come from? If the electricity is coming down the wire into your home to charge your car from a coal burning power station, then we're back to square one because your car is then burning coal in order to drive around. Now it's true there will be zero emissions, it's true it will improve the air quality in the city where you live, it's true that it will be cheaper for you to run because and there will be no uh, tax on the electricity in the same way, at the same punitive level, the same incredibly tough level that there is on tax um, on, on gasoline in countries like the UK. But the fact is you will still be burning coal in your car, even if it's at a distance. Now some will say yes, maybe that's true, but if you are burning coal in the power station, you're doing it much more efficiently than burning petrol in a small engine running around a city. And that's true. You are more carbon efficient burning coal in a power station, piping that electricity into your home, charging up your car and driving around town. But the most efficient way from the carbon point of view to drive an electric car is obviously to have a non-carbon generating system that means nuclear, for example, it could be wind, wave, I don't care what, but something other than carbon, or to have a carbon capture facility. But let's take the first option. In France, 70% of all electricity is produced from nuclear reactions. That means that in France, 70% of all the miles driven by any electric car will be nuclear miles. Completely clean, as regards carbon emissions. What about carbon capture technology? Could we actually find a way of running our electric cars on coal or oil or gas and still prevent carbon dioxide from being emitted into the atmosphere? Yes we can. Technologies already exist to capture up to 90 percent of the carbon coming out of a coal burning power station and putting it back under the ground where it can be safely stored for maybe a hundred million years, who knows. After all, the gas that came out of that field has been there for a hundred million years, so why can't the gas that we put back as a waste product also be there for a long time? Can we do it? Yes, it does double the generating cost of that electricity. But actually, by the time you get the electricity into someone's home with all the distribution costs, and then there's the marketing costs, accounting costs, and just about everything else as well, the difference in price, actual price, into someone's home of electricity where 90% of the carbon is captured from a coal-fired power station, and one where none is captured, is only about 20%. So it's not so high, actually. So we could have very efficient coal burning power stations in areas where you can easily capture the carbon, drive the electricity into cities, use it to, drive, to, uh, to, to uh, power up your car and enable you to drive around a car powered by coal but in a relatively clean way. One way or another we're going to see massive growth of electric cars and they will have tremendous acceleration, great efficiency and pump out nothing 
other than water at worst and nothing else at best.